renal failing uh, dye experiment. So you fill it up with NaOH, then you heat it up with the water. You heat it up with the water and uh, the jacket water to 60 degrees. Then you add the phenolphthalein, three to four drops, while it's stirring, and then you up the temperature to 120 and wait for it to go while collecting the data. And after it's done, you empty the, uh, the pink fluid down into one of these. And then you rinse it out with the uh, distilled water. So we're trying to find the reaction kinetics for this diphaning experiment. So to do that, we made a model using Python. And so, on the computer, we collect concentration, or rather absorbance, which is proportional to concentration. Um, and we uh, measure that for time, and we also measure the temperature. There's a couple different approaches to this. You can either have a constant temperature, and then measure the concentration as you keep the temperature constant or you can do dynamic modeling where you're varying the temperature with the concentration. Alright, the biggest tips, um, you need to get the analyzer going about an hour before class starts because it takes about an hour to warm up and you do that by turning on the computer. And also, the water bath, you need to have the water bath running and the stir on about an hour before class starts so you can get all the data you want. And other than that, the only other tip we have is if you're collecting temperature data on the computer, you might want to turn on a PowerPoint so it doesn't fall asleep during the uh, while you're waiting for it to collect all the data. The last tip we have is the way we found to make a continuous temperature change. We start out at 60 degrees Fahrenheit and then we set it to 120 and let it gradually change over the whole range of 120 to 60 Fahrenheit.